Homer the Greek, a poet and keeper of our people's legends. It is by these legends that the gods and goddesses who rule the universe allow us mortals to partake of their wisdom and improve our lives on this earth. Mighty Zeus be praised! They are the chorus who will help this tale unfold, for it is a great tale of Thor. A tragedy in honor of Dionysius, god of savage joy and gleeful anger. And yet also a story of bravery and cleverness. A, a comedy befitting bright Apollo, god of truth and beauty. And thus it was a very long time ago that a great wedding <coughs> feast took place in a shining palace in the Greek city of Pythia. King Peleus and his maid Venus, a goddess of the sea, all gods and goddesses were invited to help celebrate. Hail to the newly wed, to the happy to bring forever. That is all the gods and goddesses forevermore. Eris, the goddess of discord. I don't seem to have received my invitation. Perhaps it got lost in the mail. Hermes, were you flying too close to the sun again? Don't blame me, Athena. You're the one who said you got Eris' invitation to the nearest volcano. No matter. I just came to deliver my wedding gift. Enjoy! <laughs> Peleus is right. This is no matter to settle on a wedding feast. Why not? The bed looks for hours of a life board. I'm not leaving this wedding without that apple. Greetings. I am Paris, son of Priam, the king of Troy. Does anyone know when the next boat leaves for Asia Minor? Come, come, young Paris. Rest yourself. Enjoy some wedding food. Thank you. Who are all the gods and goddesses from the heights of Mount Olympus? Yes, yeah, so you can go on a wonderful vacation. Do the gods a favor. I do not deserve such an honor. Probably not, but we still need the favor. Just choose the goddess who is the most beautiful. The goddesses turned to Paris with many gifts, power, wealth, and even immortality. But Aphrodite promised Paris he could have as his wife the most beautiful woman in the world. It was a very close contest, lady. You were all just insatiable. But if all the gods and goddesses assembled here today, I declare Aphrodite the most beautiful. Yes, cheater. Try to get a bribe. Aphrodite, could you tell me the name of my new wife? All right, I forgot. Her name is Helen. She lives in Sparta, and she is the most beautiful woman in the world. Helen, Queen Helen of Sparta, isn't she? Already married to King Rhetoric of Sparta? That's the one. But Aphrodite proudly being the most beautiful woman in the world. I just assumed she'd be single. Serve my ambitious to serve a gold strong. I'm going to come back to Troy. But Paris did not return to Troy. Instead, he went to Sparta to play with his bride. Are you sure this is the world of the gods? Aphrodite put a spell on Helen so that she would... So that she would go with Paris. Alrighty then, it's off to Troy. I will launch down the ships of Bay Troy and bring back my queen. Menelaus gathered armies from all across Greece. The Trojan way seized to Troy. Right after battle was fought and thousands of slain. Greatest warriors of the age sought each other out and fought duels to their death. I, Hector, am the champion of Troy and Bella of Paris. Come here, Achilles, son of Venus and King Peleus. Alas, it is plain this is my hour to die. I will not fall inglorious. We will avenge our loss the time of Paris. She was holding the baby by his heel, and so it was that this one small part of Achilles was left unprotected. Paris killed Achilles with a poisoned arrow, and the Greeks had lost their finest soldier. We have tried tenders to conquer Troy, but the walls of the city are too strong. 
Without our greatest hero, Achilles, we will never defeat the Trojans. Wait, I have an idea. Listen to Odysseus. He always has an idea. Remind me, when do they ever work? I confess, this idea is not my idea. It comes from Athena. Athena, the goddess of science, and the theory. Excuse me for the interruption, students. This is Sam. Two minutes, Mom. Well, can you please call the office? Well, I was thinking, it might be my great statue. A statue of a god? Of a horse. A uh, horse. You're joking, right? A huge horse, many hundreds of feet high, filled with horse. I suppose we'll just hop on this horse and ride it into Troy. No, we will not ride on the horse. We will ride in the sky. Come, let's see. Odysseus ordered the artist to pay it to build a tall statue of a beautiful horse. Inside the horse was hollow, and it was here that Odysseus and a legion of the best of the soldiers climbed inside. The rest of the Greek army sailed away. The Trojans thought they had won the war.